Hello everyone, my name is Simran and I am your science teacher. Today we are starting the very first chapter of our syllabus that is chapter number 1, food. Where does it comes from? So we will be discussing this chapter in two parts and this is the first part, okay? So when I talk about food items, a lot and lot of variety comes into our mind, right? Chole bhature, idli, sambar, vada, pav, aloo, paratha, ice cream and so many things, right? What I drink or eat in summers, basically we eat watermelon, musk melon, we drink lemonade, lassi, charge, juices like orange juice etc. That keeps my body hydrated. What is hydrated? The required water content in my body during summers. Okay. And when I talk about winters, in winters we eat laddus, we eat sarso ka saag, makki ki roti, the food items that keeps my body more and more energetic during winters. Okay. And now students, when I talk about India, India is a huge country, right? Different, different states are there in India. Okay. When I'm talking about the northern side of India, we are eating alu paratha, we are eating chole bature, dal bati churma. And in southern states, we are eating idli sambar, we are eating dosa, we are eating uttapam. Okay. In Maharashtra, we are having vada pav. In Gujarat, we are taking khandvi, khamandokla, etc. So, a lot of food varieties there when I talk about the food availability in the states. Okay. So, Bacho, what we have discussed, we have discussed that there is so much variety in the food that we eat. Like chole bhature, alu paratha. Depending upon the season, our food variety changes. Like in summers, we drink lassi and in winters, we eat laddus. Okay. Different types of foods are there in different, different states of India. That means, Northern India, Alu Paratha, Southern India, Idli Sambar. So now, we are discussing about ingredients. What are ingredients? Bacho, ingredients are the food items or the materials that we are requiring for preparing a dish. So when you are preparing a dish, you just think in your mind, na, that what are the ingredients that I will be using for making this particular thing. So those materials are called ingredients. Okay. Suppose I have to make boiled rice. What will I need? I will be needing, I will be needing raw rice and water. And if I have these two materials, then I will be easily making boiled rice. Okay, Vato. So now we will see some more examples. These are the food item and these are the ingredients. We have to write the food items ingredients. What are the ingredients required for making roti? We will require flour and water. And about dal, we will be requiring pulses, salt, oil, spices, etc. But chow, if I want to make, put tadka over the dal, what I will be needing? Garlic, tomato, ginger, onion and things like that, right? So, next point, we will be discussing about food materials and sources. So, but chow, basically any kind of food material is either a product of animal source or a product of plant source. If we are having any category, food material is either derived from plant source or animal source. So, if I am talking about sources, sources kya hote hai? Basically, sources are the things from where food materials are derived. Okay, so if I am talking about plant sources, grains, fruit, vegetables, etc. Okay, and I'm, when I am talking about animal sources, milk, cream, egg, chicken, mutton. Okay, so many things like that. Okay, bacho. Now, we are discussing plant part and animal products as food. So, here is a picture of a flower or a plant. Okay, 
सो बच्चों दिस इज द फ्लावर ऑफ अ प्लांट दिस इज द फ्रूट दिस इज द स्टेम दिस इज द लीफ दिस इज द नोट इंटर नोट एंड दिस वन इज द बर्ड सिस्टम ओके सो द होल सिस्टम ऑफ द प्लांट इज मेकिंग शूट सिस्टम एक्सेप्ट द रूट सिस्टम ओके वॉट इज रूट सिस्टम द रूट सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ प्राइमरी रूट एंड सेकेंडरी रूट रूट इज अ पोर्शन दैट इज ज्वाइनिंग द एयर पोर्शन ऑफ द प्लांट विद द सॉइल पोर्शन ऑफ द प्लांट एंड द ज्वाइनिंग ऑफ द प्राइमरी पार्ट इन टू ब्रांचेज आर कॉल्ड सेकेंडरी रूट ओके बच्चो सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट एनिमल प्रोडक्ट ओके now we'll discuss about an example in this we are given a dish here are the ingredients required and this one is the plant part used okay suppose if i'm planning to make brinjal curry so food item with plant as the major source okay if i have to plan brinjal curry ingredients required will be brinjal chili as spice oil from ground nut mustard soya bean and other plants so what are the plant part that are used for these ingredients for this ingredient brinjal what is brinjal brinjal is a fruit of the plant okay bachcho what is chili chili as spice is the fruit of the plant and what about oil oil is a result of the seeds the seeds of the plants are used for making oil so seeds result of oil okay next batch we are going to discuss the edible portion what are edible edible things the things that, that we can eat are called edible things and edible parts okay edible parts of the plants are something the parts of the plant that we can use for eating are called edible parts for example if we have to say that this is a mustard plant then its seeds are used for making oil and its leaves are used for vegetable okay so this is what edible part is the part or the portion that we can use for eating okay that are called edible plants okay students do not randomly taste anything because anything can be poisonous for you okay now we'll discuss we'll discuss sprouted seeds what are sprouted seeds for making sprouted seeds what will you need just take a ball of moong or chana okay just take a vessel filled with water and in that vessel filled with water just put your moong or chana there keep it aside for a night okay and after that night just drain the water okay after draining the water just wrap the moong or chana left with a wet cloth wrap it up and just keep for one day one to two days what will you see that small white color tail like structure is coming out of that seed and if that white portion or that is like tail like structure is coming out of the seed na that means that your seeds are sprouted okay bachcho so this is raw seeds and when this white tail like structure is coming then it is sprouted these are these seeds are sprouted seeds okay bachcho so this was all about sprouted seeds now we'll be discussing about nectar so before discussing about nectar let me tell you one thing you all know about honey bees right honey bees are the bees which gives us honey okay we all know that honey bees roam around flower to flower and collect the sweet juices from the flowers okay and these honey bees keep that sweet juices stored into the beef okay in the beef and the sweet juices that they are collecting now these sweet juices are called nectar okay so the sweet juices that honey bees are collecting and storing it into the beef are called nectar and from that nectar we have our honey any random person just saw a beef and sweet juices present in it they just put it up and extract the honey from it and from where we get a honey okay bachcho so this was all about the part 1 of our chapter number 1
Okay. So, we have discussed about sprouted seeds, we have discussed about nectar, edible parts, plant part, we have discussed about animal sources, plant sources and the introductory part that is variety of food. Hope that you all are understanding what I am saying. Have a nice day. Do study at home. Bye-bye.